So this meeting can be, it can be overwhelming. There's a lot of science here, but there are ways for you to organize your time. We have our, uh, the booklet, okay? Just go through there. And what I do is I check off the talks I wanna go to, or you can go to the planner and just plan out your itinerary for the meeting. And when you're planning that out, you need to think about three things or think about all of the different ways in which science is presented here. You can uh, go to the national lecturer. That's also, re that's very important to attend. Then also symposia. But in addition to symposia, do not forget the platforms. Those are short talks, often given by students and postdocs. Uh, it's, and the science is excellent. Many of the uh, different um, committees sponsor uh, career-oriented uh, workshops. Take advantage of those, you'll learn a lot of very practical information about how to proceed in your career, no matter what level you're at. We have these dinners, so if you go to the Biophysical Society booth, we have these kind of meet-up dinners, and you can go up to the booth and sign up to a, for, for a meet-up dinner, and go out and you'll meet people who may actually be your scientific friends 20 years down the road. And finally, you can learn a lot actually from the industry presentations about um, instrumentation. So you might learn more practical or technical things about, about instrumentation. The Biophysical Society is, a, you know, we're a pretty large society, but don't be overwhelmed by that. Uh, we might, there might be six to 7,000 people here at the meeting, but you can find your own niche here. We're very broad, and so we have something for everyone. You just have a great time and learn as much science as possible.